Hello racers! My name is Tomix and we are in Marble World for a day of racing excitement. While we get set up for the race, let me tell you a little bit about Marble Runs and what this game is. If you're some kind of lame who doesn't care about that, jump to this timestamp, nerd. I've always been a fan of Marble Runs ever since I was a kid. Hell, some of the oldest videos on my channel, holy shit, I've been on YouTube for 15 years, are about Marble Runs I've built. So a few years ago, I found a channel of some YouTuber called Gels Marble Runs, no clue if I'm pronouncing that correctly, who would build some pretty cool stuff. A few years ago, they decided to start doing something called the Marble Olympics, basically a bunch of different Olympic games and races for marbles, directed and narrated like actual Olympic games with an honestly incredible production value. Imagine my surprise when apparently it became, like, a really big thing. Like, really big. John Oliver show level big. There's something about them that is strangely hypnotic, and many people seem to agree. Hell, my friend Elad even got addicted to it and now has a favorite team he cheers for in the Marble Olympics, and he knows the participants' names. The participants, in case I need to remind you, are marbles. With their growing popularity, Marble Run video games have shown up as well, specifically two. The first one is Marbles on Stream, a completely free Marble Run game made specifically for Twitch, in which people viewing the game on Twitch can basically type join and a marble with their username appears on screen. So once the race starts, you can try to follow your own marble and hope to win. It's honestly incredibly fun and is maybe the only reason I've been on Twitch in the past few years. The second game is this right here, Marble World, a new Marble Run simulator that's been in early access for a little while now for anyone who may want it, and is basically a physics engine for you to mess around with. And mess around I did, after something like two days of construction, only half of which I spent figuring out the controls of this damn thing, I have built my first race. It was honestly even more fun than I thought it would be, I don't even regret not waiting for it to be on sale. I spent a lot of time and effort on it, possibly more than I needed to. I could have just left the track hovering in midair like all those other tracks in the trailer, but then physics. And here we are today. After countless hours, I invite you all to Marble Topish Grand Prix. This swirling, twirling mess of a track will be our race course for today. It's a lovely day outside and our contestants are getting ready. Each contestant is racing for themselves, but they are divided into four teams nevertheless. The first team, Team Red, consists of some of my real-world friends, many of which got hypnotized by Marble Run Magic themselves when I showed them the Marble Olympics at my birthday party and was surprised at how incredibly into it they all got. I love you all, you huge bunch of nerds. The second team, Team Orange, consists of my Patreon supporters. There's only like six of them though, so I included everyone who ever supported me on Patreon at all over the years. Once you support me on Patreon and maybe find yourself in one of these races if I ever do one again, links in the description. Team Blue consists of you lovely YouTube viewers and commenters, anyone who has left a comment on any of the videos I've posted in the last year basically. And the last team, Team Green, consists of my abnormally large horde of cats, random phrases I found funny, and some internet friends who I might send this to. Whoever you are, good luck to you. Now let's take a quick overview of the track. The track is divided into five legs, that's three legs more than most people. Marbles start the first one here, where they get mixed and tumbled to ensure nobody has a significantly better starting position than anyone else, before descending into the Board of Nails, where they get tumbled around in the Tornado Bowl before heading for Leg 2 of the race. Leg 2 consists of a spiral slalom, a drop, and a boomerang element that will favor those marbles with speed and cunning before they head into Leg 3. Marbles will ascend the lift before skiing down the Zigazig Ah, a back and forth zigzag track with some holes in the track for those daring accurate marbles who'd like to take a shortcut and get ahead of the pack. From there, it's down to the Twisty Tube, a see-through slalom that spins downhill before spitting our racers out into what appears to be some kind of vintage walk I found behind a Chinese restaurant. From there, the track splits in two before meeting up at the start of leg four. The higher route is significantly shorter, and marbles who decide to go that route will have a significant advantage. Up the stairs into leg four, the Pachinko of Death. The series of obstacles will toss and tumble our marbles, and only the most agile, quick-to-react marbles will prevail. From there, it's time for leg five, the final leg of the race, where marbles will pinball through an obstacle course and try to aim for the elevated shortcut. Those who will reach it will save precious time, while those who don't will go the long way around. Both routes leading to a few final obstacles and eventually the finish line. Who will be victorious? Who's a lameness burrito? And who's ready to rumble? It's time to start in three, two, one. And they're off! We're starting off with some slow motion action just so we can follow all the craziness that's unfolding in front of us. Oh, it seems you have taken the lead! Wow! Followed by my cat Chloe, Alon, and my cat Domino. Freema is uh, quick on their heels, but we are all approaching the bowl. Round and round and round it goes, where it stops nobody knows. You appear to take the lead, heading first down the tr track, but will you also be first on the lift? 
Yes, it seems that our current lead are uh, a DA, Tal A, Elad, Jinjas, my cat, and you. Followed by Itai BR, Eden S, Ever, Lola, Yosef Play Play, Domino, Chocolate, Windows Update, Ophir P, and Elden H. It's great seeing that you made it first, but anything could still change. You have to work hard to hold on to your position because there are many obstacles yet ahead. A quick rundown at who's behind. Maya, Shira W, Almog, Yeli M, Jelly, uh, Jell is ironically heading up the rear. Yelly M and more are currently heading up the back. Now it's time to speed time up just a bit and enter the slalom. What will happen at the boomerang? Oh, a D takes the lead, as well as Tal A, followed by Elad, Jinjas, and then you. Oh, everything seems to be changing. It's all super dynamic. Into the boomerang element they go, and it seems leg two finishes with a DA in the lead, followed by Elad and Tal A. You were in fourth place, uh, then with Ophir, Elden H, and Jinjas. Jinjas is a ginger tabby cat with a really annoying voice, but I guess he's kind of cute-ish. Alright, our racers are heading up the lift into the Zigazig Ah. To remind you all, here the most cunning marbles will take the shortcuts through this place and this place. And let's see what happens. Adi enters, skips the first shortcut. Oh, there seems to be a collision! Oh, you... You have taken the lead once again! Go you! Oh, and you are heading right into the the spiral stall and whatever the fuck I called it. <laughs> oh, it's pure chaos, people. Spinning into the walk. Uh, it appears that Noga K and Ophir P have taken the lead. Where are you? There you are. All right, everything seems to have changed quite dramatically. Our current leads are Ophir P, D a DA, Daphna, Code, Noga K, and Yuval. In second place, we currently have you, Grandma, Jonathan, Joey, Lola, Fizzy Icy, uh, Itai BR, Uri, and Poo. Heading up the rear is Dakakashi. Oh, and it seems we have our first people who didn't quite make it through the track. That is my cat Chloe and Jess S. I'm sorry, Jess. Guess this isn't your race. But back with the people who are still in the running. Yuval is heading up to the top of the race along with a bunch of Patreon supporters. Team Orange seems to be doing very well. Oh, and into the pachinko they go. Oh, it's sheer madness as everything starts to turn and tumble, guys. Daphna is taking the lead, but anything could still change. And they're off to the next part. Will any of them catch the shortcut? Code heads straight for the shortcut, ensuring the lead. Followed closely by Daphna, but will Ophir take second place? It seems so. Oh, Code gets caught up in the, the last bit, but it seems like that hasn't phased him. Code is our winner, followed by Ophir P, Daphna, Yuval, Nogake, Poo. A D A Uri Nico Gal R G seven zero seven Itai B R Maya has managed to come all the way back from the rear of the race, which is very impressive. Tal A a Windows update Odechan and you and Itai B R is the only person from the YouTube commenter team to make it this far ahead. To those of you not in the know, Code is a developer for a water park management game called Operation Water Park. It makes sense he'd do well in a physics and slide based sport such as this. Thank you to all of our participants, this has been quite a race.
But remember folks, just because you didn't win doesn't mean it's anything to be ashamed of. The people who should be ashamed of themselves are the ones who didn't even finish. Which are everyone that fell off the track, Iran, sh Everyone here that got caught up in the spinner, are you guys okay? What a pile up, such mayhem. Salalke, or however the hell you pronounce that. How did you even manage that? You should be very proud of yourself. What a race. Thank you to all of our participants. We'll leave you now with a point of view shot of a second just for fun race that's not part of the official competition. If you'd like to support Marble World, go ahead and buy it on Steam. Link is in the description, or you could just search for it yourself, you lazy bastard. And if you'd like to get this track, just search for Marble Topish on the Steam Workshop. My Patreon link is there as well for those of you who'd like to join the Orange team. Or, you know, just support me as an artist. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see me make more like it, please let me know by leaving a comment. Not because of the algorithm, it's just how I know you enjoy this content I created, and how you might save the honor of Blue Team next time. Until next time, I'm Tomix, and this has been Marble World.